shadowy flight into the dangerous world of a man who is fearless. A young loner on a crusade to champion the cause in a world of reckless automobiles. These are my motor vlogs. Hey, uh, interesting today, I got an email from Senna. Okay. And they just came out with a new headset called oh. the, S, the SM5. SM5? S, S, M, yeah, S is in Sam, M is in Mary. Five. Oh, okay. Okay, they left off the and, H. Yeah, and it has a, it actually has a screen on the, on the headset, so you can actually see. Not that I don't know how anybody would see it when they, it's on their head, but I guess to send a, you know, there's a reason for that. You can see but, it's, it's, yeah, a screen, it's a screen for to see who you're talking to? Yeah, there's an LED screen that you can see, so when you're setting it up, you can look at what you're doing on there. Oh. Oh, okay. And it's at, it's at the, uh, it's got that new uh, Bluetooth 5.0 um um, mesh capability, and it also has, um, and uh, but it's not mesh. I mean, it's got the same Bluetooth as the uh, 30K and the 50S now. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, okay. Is it, you, yeah. You said it's out, or they just sent you an email letting you know that it's coming out? Yeah, they, it, they just said they just said it. It's on the market now, and it's. Uh, the price point is about 159 so, you know, just for those folks who are out there who just want to, you know, communicate bike to bike, yeah. uh, it sounds yeah. like that's a pretty good uh, uh, option for them that's in the lower price range. Huh. So. Oh, okay. But, I mean, that's now, if you go with the SM5, that is, that is uh, probably better now than the SMH10s. Okay. Okay. Still have that. Still have that old Bluetooth. Right. Hi, yeah. let, let me ask this question, Mark. Now, with your 30K and the, and the update, the you know the latest update you've done, how is it working out for you? Well, everything's working fine. I uh, went out on a ride uh, last week with the, with a buddy of mine, and we had no problems with communication at all. No cutouts. No nothing. We both have our free wires on. Everything was working great. But interestingly enough, we tried to Bluetooth to each other, and it would it, it just would not make a connection. Wow. Huh. Yeah. So that's strange. And the only thing I can think of is that Senna wants to have the the, the F thirty K wants to be paired to another 30K in mesh and not in Bluetooth. Right. So if you're trying to Bluetooth with a 30K to a 20S, then it's no problem because the 30K knows that, okay, that other headset isn't a 30K. And, I, and I'm just throwing it out there. I, I, you know, I have no basis for that, but I just can't understand why it won't pair up with Bluetooth when I can pair it to a 20S with no problem Bluetooth. That's a very good question. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, all you Cardo guys don't really have to worry about that. <laughs> we're going to have to bring you on over to the Cardo, Mark. We're going we're gonna to have to bring Cardo, you on over. Cardo. I'm yeah. thinking about buying one. I'm seriously thinking about buying one. Man. What? Not Mark. Not yeah, Mark. Mark. Yeah. No. Hey, I, I'm an equal <laughs> opportunist, you know. He's an equal opportunist. i got to be able to communicate. Man, you got to communicate, right. man. And I had a I had a uh, a friend of mine was on a ride in Utah with his brother, and his brother bought the Cardo Pack Talk Bold. Right. And he was using the 20S, and they could not get connected. So who did they call? You. Motocom Guru Mark. <laughs> <laughs> so what it turned out was is they were the Cardo was had the mesh on, and he was trying to Bluetooth to the 20S at the same time. Right. And, and I said, well, there's really no need 
from from what I know about mesh, unless you're trying to mesh to another headset, there is no need for the mesh to be on. Right. If 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 you're not trying to mesh to somebody else, take it out of the loop, turn the mesh off. And so right. what I had them do is I had the 20s go into um, go into a un, um, a universal pairing. And then I had the Cardo paired to the 20S as if it was trying to pair to a phone. Correct. And it lit up. They said, man, everything was great. So we had a Cardo paired up to a 20S Evo, and everything was perfect for them. Hey, let me ask you this question, Mark. When you paired the center to the Cardo, did you go to Rider A? Rider B in Bluetooth mode, or did you just go straight to the phone pairing? To the just straight to the phone pairing. Okay, okay. When I tried and it, I was going to talk to you about that once you got done with all your stuff because I I know there was a there's a uh, there's that I remember watching one of your videos where you said there was a Rider A and Rider B correct um, uh, profile correct, and, but I didn't know how to do that, so I just told him just pair it as if you're using a phone. Right. So what you do with the Cardo, when it's blinking green, you in DMC, and if you hold down the, I think the phone button and the top intercom button, press it one time simultaneously, you go into uh, Bluetooth mode. The light will start flashing blue. Or you can do it within the app. You can switch it from DMC to Bluetooth. Once you switch it over to Bluetooth, you're gonna see Rider A and Rider B. Got it. And you're gonna hit pair, and it's gonna say pair to a non-cardo unit. You're gonna put that center mm -hmm. into phone pairing, and then it will connect the center on Rider A or Rider B channel, depending on which one you pair it to. Now I haven't yeah. tried the method that you say it to just pair it up like it's you know, yeah, a phone. Make you know make the cardo the think it's paired to a phone. Yeah, and that's. And that's, from my understanding, that's what all Bluetooth headsets do, uh, because they all have the universal pairing function for the most part. Right. And in order to do that, one of one of the writers has to give up their phone ability. But right. I was thinking, you know, that might not necessarily be true, because if the cargo goes into universal pairing mode and the Senna is pairing to the cargo and it's already paired to a phone, the Senna could just go to second phone pairing. Yes. Yeah, right. you would have. Yeah, you. Well, you would have to put the Senna in phone second phone pairing. Right. By pushing the jog dial and then hitting the button two seconds after it says intercom pairing, then it takes you into second phone pairing. Right. Correct. And and so I, it's something I want to try because I but but I've got to find someone who's a Cardo user. Let me ask you this question, Mark. Once they pair the center to the cardo, how did it do in the communication? Great. They, they did. Great. It, it was drastically a drastic improvement. Okay. Okay. I need drastic to try that. Improvement. I, I mean, need. It's still not great. I need to try that method. Yeah, and and, and that's the, my understanding is if you just pair it as a phone, then you'll be okay. But if you're paired to your phone on your Cardo and you want to pair to the Senna, then... Um, you got to go to number two. You, yeah, go to number two because that way you won't lose your phone. Correct. But, and so, you know, it's worth a try. It's worth the test to see. I mean, you guys have the Cardos out there. Right. And I don't. But uh, a friend of mine, this guy that I was helping him out with, him and his brother, uh he's thinking about buying a cardo and so i i think i'm just going to tell him hey why don't we just go ahead and and uh, go have on a cardo uh on a on a dual set and uh and then i'll take one and you take the other and 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 you know right get to go right that's 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 pretty good cuz i have a third helmet that i could hook it up to so let me ask you this you know what i wonder does the senna 50 Series does it have auto reconnect? Yeah, it's a self healing mesh. 
So if you get out of range and come back in range, it yep. automatically connect. Yep. Okay. Yeah, just like uh, yep. Just like the car. Yeah, and, and they actually tested that on uh, the uh, Arizona trip that they went on when they went to Hannigan Meadows a few weeks ago. They actually tested that where they intentionally dropped out of range. Right. And then came back in and boom, it connected. You didn't have to do anything. And that was one of the things I wanted them to test. How many riders can you can you do, can you connect on that Center 50 series that'll do that? Well, they have five on there, but the numbers are like unlimited. I mean, I think oh, they have. Be. Yeah, I think it was like 20 that could be connected to one channel, but only six can talk at one time. Oh, okay. I, I, you know. And I, but you know what? I'm skeptical when it comes to that. It's like Bluetooth, like the 20s Evo. You know, they say you can have eight riders connected, but reality is anything more than three, it's a lost cause. Yeah. So now with the car, though, we don't have that issue. We don't have that issue at all when connecting up to 15 people. Because I know yeah. on this on this particular ride, we had, I mean, we had myself along with uh, Double hey, D. Uh, yeah, Double D, myself, Double D, uh, Godspeed, Sunshine, we had Philip, we had Yvette, we had JD, we had Miss Sassy, we had uh, Bruce. Yeah, Bruce, uh, Bruce, yeah. And who else we had? We had uh, Ron, we had 10 people hooked up this weekend. Yeah. No problem at all. Outstanding. And everybody was able to talk. Yeah. No and, I, and I have it. And I have the video to prove it. And how long? Was, how big? How long was your uh, was your stick there? Was it over a mile? Well, front and back? most of it we was riding. Uh, we was riding local. We we didn't do. We didn't get stretched out. Okay. I don't think we. I don't think we stretched it out, did we, Double D? No, we didn't stretch it out too far. Yeah, but when somebody would break off, we could still hear them. Right, 10 riders deep. Yeah. Oh, okay, somebody okay. Get, somebody get caught at the light, and everybody would go down a little ways. Yeah. Because yeah. I was, y'all got, you guys, when I got caught at the light, you guys were kind of out of sight, and I still could hear. Right. So we had, we had 10 hooked up with no problem. Yeah. I mean, no snap, no crackle. It's really clear right now, too. Yeah, we out here on 70 West. We're about, I don't know, 20 miles from St. Louis? No, we're, we're farther than that. We're farther than that. We are... And we all got three-quarter hammers on, too. Coming up on the side. Yeah, we're, we're about 37 miles from St. Louis, and we all have on half helmets. Oh, very good. Very yeah, good. half helmets. I'm talking to you now uh, on a half helmet. really good. I don't, I don't even hear any wind noise in the back. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. Yeah, so I'll let you know if I get one of those Cardos. Uh, it's in the works. i got to see if he wants to do it. I, I just don't. I, it would be okay for me if I had one of a dual set because he would ride, and I ride with him occasionally. Right. So at least I'd have someone to talk to. Other than that, I have no one that has a colonel. So I have to have some skin in the game. Right, right, exactly, exactly. Hey, I, you know. everybody everybody that uses them, they love them. Yeah. Oh, I've heard, I've heard nothing but good things about them, man. I, I have heard nothing but good things about the Cardo Pack Dog Bowl. And, now, uh, and um, so. Now, when you're talking about, you know, talking on the CB radio through your gold wing and all of that, you know the center's gonna give you a you know you got to you can use that center free wire. I'm not sure if you can use it with the with the 50 series, but I know you can use it with the what 20s. And I'm hearing what the 30k as well. Did you ever get it to work with the 30k, the free wire? I don't have a I don't have a uh, you know what I will tell you this my I don't have a CB on my uh, my bike, but my friend does who just I did the install for his uh, 30k and all that. Right. And uh, we tested the CB and it worked. Okay. Yeah, it worked. So, um, so, and that was using that was using the 30k. 
Okay. Okay. It sound pretty good and everything? Yeah. Yeah, we did a squelch check. We went over to some sub channels and went over to a truck stop. And, uh, you know, it, it was okay. 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 So. That sounds that good. The 30K. I mean, you, I don't know. You may make Double D want to go out and get him and buy him another 30K. <laughs> hey, Mark. Yeah, I, I, Mark, this, I, this, 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 this nice weather is going to Chris's head. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> oh man! Yeah. Well, you guys are out on y'all are out on the uh, on the on the seventy west, and I'm sitting inside of a room with a bunch of cameras. So yeah, uh, yeah, we've been bit of envy going on there. Yeah, we've been out. We was out uh, up in Indianapolis. I'll put some video up in a few days. So stay stay tuned to the yeah. channel. Will do, sir. Yeah, we're gonna have to get uh, get another one. A lot of change since the last time we all met. Yeah, yeah, I've I've heard about some changes. Uh, I guess they're trying to make it harder to to use it now or something. You know, more security. I don't know why, but more security. Yeah. You know, with all these passcodes and firewalls and you know, how much security do we need? <laughs> yeah, and. Uh... Well, I mean, you know, I think they got uh, got hit pretty hard with uh, because they they were lacking in security. And uh, but I mean, all you need is a passcode, and if it's a, you know, if you're using a, a passcode and an encrypted uh, password, you know, then you should be fine. I don't see how anybody could really. Well, I suppose there's really good hackers out there that can go anywhere they want, but I what mean, would but be the odds? But what what are they doing? They're just getting into the meetings when they're not supposed to be on the meeting. So some people hold public meetings, like at the school board meetings, or, or you know, like uh, homeowners association meetings and things like that. So when they do that, they basically do an invite, but they don't encrypt the meeting. They don't give anybody a password. They just tell people to join. And so when someone joins, now people can take over that unsecured. Um, that unsecured channel and start posting whatever they want by sharing their screen. Well, that's what they get for having an unsecured meeting. <laughs> I mean, exactly. I mean, why penalize everybody else? If you use an unsecured Wi-Fi network, you know, what, why are you going to have right. a complaint that somebody hacked your, you're using an unsecured network? Right. Well, somebody had put some porn up, you know, their, their school teacher, and somebody yeah. had put some porn up. We just got some wicked people in this world that just it's, do dumb things. You know, back before I was riding bikes. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, man. I, I'm stuck to say anything, Mark. But uh, <laughs> now, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, I started in a few. A few. Mo I started in a few, few. Few movies back in the day. And that, hence the name Caliente. <laughs> It's supernova. He's heating. <laughs> he's heating up. But no, seriously though, man. Uh, yeah, we're gonna get together soon, uh, Mark, and we'll do another, yeah. another, uh, another Caliente show. Yeah, yeah. We 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 need to. I I I enjoy those. It's nice to just sit back and talk with everybody and and uh, and uh, hear everybody's points of view and you know and. On everything that's going on. So. Yeah, it, it's really nice. I just have to find time, but uh, you know, I love it. It's a, it's a good. It's it's good. It's, it's informative. A lot of people love it. They say they wish we would do it more. Yeah, uh -huh. uh, they, don't, they don't. They don't understand that it takes time and and work to do those things. Yeah, I mean, it does. For you, you know. Yeah, it's different. And, you know, uh, when you're getting paid and you got people to do things, but when you're a one man band. Yeah. You know, you just have to right. get it in when you can. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna have to get a fold-out bed for that Caliente garage because uh, <laughs> the first day is gonna put you out there for sure. Hey, I've been going all I've been going all week. I still I may be out there when I get home tonight. I be at a new home. <laughs> I yeah, told the, it. I told the fellas when I get in this evening, I'm gonna take my helmet and roll it in the house. If it if it roll back out, I know she's mad. Yeah, if she, if either she, that or just wear it on your head. 
<laughs> so she hit me across the head. I have some protection, huh? There you go, man. Yeah, sounds good, Mark. All right, how's All right. it? I got how's it uh, Okay, the weather out there is pretty good. The weather out there is good. Yeah, we're we're like it's like 85 degrees. We just got out of a heat wave last week. It was like 104, yeah, 105, yeah, and uh, and but now it kind of started cooling down on Saturday, and now it's just beautiful out here right now. It's like 84 degrees right now. That that's I can tolerate that. Yeah, I'm showing about 85 on my dash right now. Yeah, but when it's 104 degrees, man, it's like, man, I feel like I'm five miles from the sun. Man, I know. That's how I was when I was in Texas a few days ago. Yeah. It was hot in Texas? Yep. Man, it was so hot in Texas to crack your windshield. <laughs> I was uh, I was uh, looking at Facebook. Some guy posted a uh, vest that he uh, that he made. There's one all out there that that's, you know, legit, but he, uh, he posted this vest. He... Uh, Ran a pump into an ice chest that he puts on his back seat, and it wove a whole bunch of uh, plastic hose through this vest, and then uh, attached fittings to it, and turns the pump on, and it pumps cold water through this hose. Wow! Through all this hose in his vest, and it kind of keeps his keeps his core cold. There's one out there that's legit. That it's actually a jacket, but uh, this guy just got one of those like reflective vests and. and Put one together, pretty you know, innovative if you ask me. Right, that's pretty neat. Yep. Wow. So keep keep them cool, right? Heck yeah. Hey, all you gotta do is keep your core cold. Your legs and your arms, those things can heat up all day. You, you can keep your kidneys and your core cool. You're good to go. Right. And I even saw an air conditioned helmet that they just put out. Yeah. Wow. I that too. Yeah. That sounds interesting. And it looks kind of bulky, but I mean, you know, part of the uh, you know part of the adventure of being a Goldwing rider is the torture you put your body through in the inclement weather. Right. Otherwise, you might as well just drive a car. <laughs> yeah, that's what they say. <laughs> yeah. uh, let's not do that. So. Yeah. Hey, anyway, I gotta get uh, get this thing uh, all transitioned over. My relief is coming in here shortly. Okay, Mark. And uh, if you guys drive safe out there, all all of you, okay? And I'll uh, I'll say a prayer for y'all. Okay, all Mark. Right, Mark, I'll see you with that uh, car though. Yeah, let's do it. All right. I'll, okay. I'll wear my helmet with my car on just to show you proof okay. of life. Hey, that would be a great video. <laughs> uh, all right. Okay, we'll talk to you later, Mark. Out. Okay, be blessed, brother. All right.